What's going on everyone? It's Mike back again and uh it's been a fairly I'm not gonna say busy day, but there's you know there's been a few rumours about Everton, be, bit of uh, new deal news, uh potential transfers outgoing and incoming, and of course the manager situation. So let let's let's just update everyone. Firstly, protests protests happened the other night. And uh, they were absolutely fantastic. Um, the media have he very heavily criticised um, one particular fan. Literally, it was a pointless fucking... It, it really rattled me, actually. But it, one fan spray-painted Goodison. Um, now, obviously, we've seen messages, but the, there's one that's actually done it on an actual piece of the... I'm going to say boarding, the, the artwork on the around the stadium. It's over Bill Kenrock's face. Um, I don't see the need for that, so I didn't agree with that. But as a result, of course, the media snap on that and they've used it as a, you know, we're a toxic fan base and all that rubbish. It, at the end of the day, the protest was managed really well, much better than it was the night before, um, and they did a good job. So credit where credit is due, fantastic well done, brilliant stuff, and, and thoroughly, thoroughly happy with how it went. I think there was a few thousand fans there. Obviously, I wasn't there. I'm 150 miles away from it, but really, really good turnout. And uh, I'm very proud of you all who, who attended. And, you know, the point was heard, wasn't it? It was very constructive. Um, Vitor Pereira weirdly went on to Sky and did that that video and... It, it's, I'm not going to say it's cost him the Everton job because none of us really know how close he was to signing the deal, but honestly, that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen from somebody trying to get a, a job. You know, when Everton are in complete turmoil, who, whether it's him or his agent, who the hell do they think they are coming on to national, you know, Sky News, whatever, and discussing our football club? Like, who are they? You know, Vitor Pereira's got a nothing record in his CV, yet he bigs himself up. And Kia Chobachan is a is a leech, is a maggot when it comes to Everton Football Club. And, and I, I, I would love it if somebody got that message to him from me because he is, he is, he is an, I despise him. He, he makes me feel sick. I've just got, you know, I, I literally don't have a positive word to say about that man. Um, disgusting, but... It looks like Vitor Pereira has put himself out of the race, and I can just laugh. I can just laugh. Ha. Um, it wasn't necessarily a direct issue with Vitor. You know, if the man's applied for a job, but it's all of the extra stuff, the the interviews, the links with Kia Joe, but just stinks. Just stinks. So yeah, he's not coming in. And look, I'm not necessarily happy with any of the options that are available, but that's because we're in a situation where we are. You know, would I have preferred a manager with more experience than Frank Lampard? Absolutely. Um, do I think Wayne Rooney would probably be better fitted to a role at Everton with Everton being in the position they're in? Absolutely. Can I see Mary in Sam Allardyce coming in and supporting Duncan Ferguson? Yeah, I can. Can I see Mary in going and getting Kovac and, and, and Lucien Favre? Yeah, because they've got more experience in better teams than than Vitor Pereira. So, you know, I was not against anyone. I'm not against anyone. I, you know, if you want to be the manager of Everton Football Club, I'll back you if you get it. But Vitor just wasn't a good fit. And the fact he went so far down this line was mad. And what we're all forgetting is this board, this, this Everton board, Farhad Mashiri, the owner, whatever, they tried to get Roberto Martinez from Belgium. And I'm convinced we'd have gone down. I'm convinced. So, I'm happy that that hasn't happened. I'm happy Vitor Pereira is unlikely to be the Everton manager. But at this point, it looks like it's Frank Lampard. It looks like he's going to have his second interview tomorrow. I just want to appoint someone. You know, we, we've literally got a weekend. Frank's going to come in. I'm sure we'll have targets. I'm sure we'll have people that, you know, it'll probably, it will would shock me if he doesn't go and sign a player from Chelsea. It really would shock me, whether it's a loan or not. But we also need to look at the bigger picture here. 
because there's a lot of people that are against Frank, and I get it. He's good with youth, we know that, and this is something we have been crying out for for a long time, a manager that will put some faith in the youth players, and that's that's positive. That's, that is not a negative, that is a positive. Do we need experience right now? Absolutely, but our experienced players are shit. You know, no disrespect, Coleman, not being good enough, it won't be not being good enough. Alan Decore have, have consistently been injured this season, Decore's out for another four weeks. You know, Mina... Um, has been injured, then you've got Keane and Holgate, aren't good enough. So, you know, a lot of the Everton team are a mess. Um, and it's just, I trust Lampard to get it right with the kids. You know, I, I trust him to help develop them. And I understand Anthony Gordon will look up to Lampard and be like, well, can I be like you? How do I, you know, that's all positive. The negative says, how does he manage his experienced players? How does he manage the the Calvert-Lewins, the Charlesons, the ones that players, squads, other clubs will want. You know, there's rumours today, and we'll go into it in a minute, about Arsenal and Calvert-Lewin. So he'd have a big job, job, Frank. But next season, there's players at, at Chelsea who are currently out on loan that would probably walk into the Everton midfield. Uh, I'm speaking specifically about Conor Gallagher. Now, if... Lampard knows Gallagher, obviously he does in some capacity. Um, maybe Lampard can pull a few strings. Maybe we can go and get a kind of Gallagher on a on a loan or a or a or sign him because he would be a great addition to our midfield. Um, I think Lampard will be able to attract decent players. Um, I think he's a well respected person in football, so you know we will be able to attract some decent names. We will see. We will say. Um, we also go on to, as I said, the news about Calvert Lewin. Apparently, Calvert Lewin would be interested in a move to Arsenal, um, but Everton might sell him in, in January at uh, 60 million quid. Um, I'm on the fence as to whether I'm happy about that or not. Um, he's not very good with one on ones, but in my opinion, he's one of, one of, hmm, yeah, one of the best. All heading strikers in the league um, when he's on form. When he's not on form, he's not a great player. He's not, but I, I like his work rate, I like his determination, so it would be wrong for me to criticise him, and I won't. I, you know, I support Calvert Loon all day long. But if you offered me 60 million, I'm very much on the fence as to whether I take it because I, I can see the pros and the cons. Then we move on. To players that have signed new deals, and Lewis Dobbin has confirmed that he has signed a three and a half year deal. Now, as we saw the other night, he linked up fantastically with Patterson. Patterson, little ball round the corner, gets a ball into the box, and Dobbin times it perfectly. Um, I think if Lampard comes in, we'll see more of a Dobbin. Um, he's, he's dynamic, he's aggressive, he's quick, he's got everything. He's the sort of player I'd love in the Everton side. So, look, if he's going to be um, around for another three and a half years, that's a positive, absolute brilliant positive. And I find it interesting that Ellie Sims has just gone out on loan after signing a new deal. Um, I don't know how much of a future Sims has got, but you'd like to think that Lampard will give them, you know, an opportunity. I'll tell you what, it's it's tough. It's tough. It's It's difficult being up for these videos because... You know, I want to give you content and I want to relay messages, but you know, when you you look at the situation we're in, it's just it's horrible. Um, I'm almost bored of talking about how shit we are. Um, another player we've been linked with today is Andombele, and and look, and Eliala, and both of those players improve Everton. Um, Andombele at Spurs hasn't probably worked. They spent a lot of money on him. Deli Ali, we know how good he can be on his day, but we haven't seen it for about two years now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mentioned both players at the start of the transfer window, and I said that would be the sort of player I'd go for. In Dombele, he's definitely the sort of midfielder I'd go for. Strong, powerful, quick, can pass. It's exactly what Everton need. And we need three of them. So we need Alan, him, and Decora. And we need them all fit. 
that's been Everton's problem. In terms of a number 10, yeah, we need one. If Deli Ali's that man, great. If he's not, let's find another one. But I certainly think that Frank Lampard will pull some strings and bring some players in. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if Loster's cheek was one of those from Chelsea. Worryingly, it wouldn't surprise me if it was Ross Barkley either. So, we'll see. Guys, I'm leaving it there anyway. Have a good one. Keep smiling. Up the toffees and hopefully we'll have a Premier League manager in Frank Lampard tomorrow. Peace.